Okay, so I know I promised you guys a bit more feminine presence uh, uh, talking about uh, watches here at SIHH. Well, unfortunately, we have found a nice bearded guy. <laughs> He's the editor-in-chief of World Tempest, and we're going to ask him what were his favorite picks here at this SIHH 2018. Well, um, standout product for me, Mark, is um, the Beaumont Messier Beaumatic purely because of its movement. I had a, a detailed presentation earlier. I think uh, it's nearly eight years of uh, development that's gone into it for uh, a price of 2,500 Swiss francs. You get five days power reserve, you get silicon. Um, they've put so much into it within, in a relatively classic model. For me, it's the, it's the standout model of the show. And coming, it will, I mean, the, the end product will come at a very, fairly decent price, right? Yes, uh, you can have it, for, I think it's 2,500, you can add 150 if you want the uh, COSC chronometer certificate. Personally, I don't think I'd pay the extra, I know the movement is good enough as it is, I've actually seen the, the readings during the presentation. Uh, I think um, we're, we're actually there in a territory that's almost competing with the type of thing we would see at Basel World, which is quite outstanding to see that at the SIHH. Yeah, that's true. And the fact of going down the, the I mean, five day of power reserve, really increasing the usability of your watches and ease of use, I mean, it's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, five days power reserve, one thing they're also stretching is five years service intervals, which is um, a, a good positive message to be given to the consumers that, hey guys, you can keep this watch for five years, you don't need to do anything with it. They even add an extra year onto the guarantee, so I think it's a really good message to, to, to the customer um, who, who wants to buy that watch. So, what else uh, did you enjoy here? Um, uh, still in the classic uh, theme, actually, I, I, I like the Gégé Le Coutre Polaris, but not the Memovox, not the uh, Alarm edition, but the, the, the basic edition, um, three hands, uh, really classic watch again. A lot of work on the dial, small details, uh, but again, something you could wear every day without any worries, in-house movement, I mean, what more do you want? A little bit more expensive maybe than the Bohm, but, um, you know, still a good, uh, a good deal in my book. And in terms of a general trend, how would you summarize a little bit what you saw here? Uh, easy in one word for me, reasonableness. Um, not just in terms of price, I think we're seeing a lot of work on the price, but um, in terms of design, I mean, we're seeing more reasonable designs. The first Panerai, for example, at 38 millimeters, something people have been asking for for ages and it's finally here. Um, uh, that's good news as well. And in general, maybe a bit smaller design, smaller case sizes. Uh, and yeah, just reasonable things. All right, well, thank you very much, Paul. That Cheers was very nice. No problem, Mark.